Hey guys, it's Shannon with Apex Hero Pure Spirit, and um, I'm just going to do a random reading. I hope that you're having a good day. If you're new, welcome. Uh, if you're returning, hey guys, welcome back. Um, I did the 72-hour um, reading for your element signs. They can be found down below, and I uh, started to work on your 48-hour um, uh, cardinal fixed and mutable signs and um, I'll, I'll get to those so if I don't get them out today they'll get they'll be done tomorrow and they'll get out be gotten <laughs> I'll get them out tomorrow I have a lot on my mind and uh, for one reason I'm doing this reading and I like to pull from you all's energy when I do the reading because I'm part of a soul group and um, so anyway that's why I'm hopping in here so let's just go ahead and uh, see what will come out and what kind of answers the divine will give you and I. Okay. Thank you, divine, for mending our broken hearts and uh, giving us peace when we need it. I bind and block all negative dark forces. Go back to the pit where you belong. Ask for your wisdom to come forth and to reveal whatever's needed to be, whatever needs to be revealed for any given person. It's the most important message. Thank you. We have the hay, and we did have the hay come out in one of the 72 hour readings. I want to say it came out in two of the element readings. We also have the cough here. That's huge. That's 15 also. That's devil energies. But this is the sun. This is a... Um, did we see the sun card? I don't remember if we've seen the sun either. Um, might have been on another reading I did today. I don't remember. This is a forcible overthrow of something. Very social and something being pointed out in a very big way. We have a gimmel here at the bottom of the deck. And that's the... Um, rich and the generous man carrying something, moving something along. So, um, something could be being forced for some of you all, or just coming right up in your face for you to, to take a look at something that's being pointed out with the sun energy and what this means in the Hebrew. Could be dealing with the Leo, could be dealing with the Capricorn, could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius with and or a Gemini with this vibration going on here. And uh, Taurus, Sagittarius, and uh, Leo coming out really strong with both of those. And Capricorn also, and Gemini. So that's what's coming out in vibration here. Beholding something and looking at something. Let me see what this uh, word is. We have the H and the Q. And the H and the Q and the Z are all the same vibration in our alphabet. But this is the fifth letter here. Our fifth letter would be equivalent to the E, the N, and the W. Um, the 19th letter would be the S, the A, and the J. If that means anything for anyone. Person, place, or a thing, first, middle, or last name. The numbers 5 or 19 or 10 or 15 or 6. Any of those numbers. If that could be birthdays, anniversaries, or anything like that. If you're looking for answers to something. Okay, one direction was a word, but there wasn't any um, definition. But the, um, the QH, however you would say that, means collect or accord. Something dull, a dull blade or a or dull te dull teeth as bad. This could be dealing with somebody who's got bad teeth. Um, maybe okay. It's talking about a dull blade. Maybe you work with somebody who doesn't shave or has a gruffy type um, facial appearance what's coming through my spirit with that also um goes to blunt and somebody being real blunt or maybe somebody's a pot smoker and smokes a blunt 
okay just any kind of connections that I can get here I'll bring it out but this is to collect something it could be a bill collector um, something that you've been waiting for the word here in this section also can go to wait and to gather to be bound together it's also what's coming out here but collection and waiting for something hmm Okay, those are the words that are coming out here. So anything, any of those words might trigger something in you, then so be it. If not, then it wasn't for you, I guess. All right, let's see what's happening here with this. So I'll just tell you right off the bat, you know, with the 15 there, that's the karmic, and that's soulmates that are supposed to be in your life, getting them both ways here. Also, something being forcibly overthrown, and something being pointed out about something, about any type of rivalry, or something social that's going on. We got death issues or living issues. Two haze is I exist or breath existing. Breath and size just in the hay itself. You don't even have to have the other H there. What do you want to bring out here, Devon? Just give me some cards. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Okay. Large sums of money and inheritances and health issues what does it say collect and somebody's collecting something a collector he's even got a hairy face <laughs> it's kind of a, he didn't look scruffy but he's got a beard I mean it was given words out there that could go to, you know, facial hair. Something could be overturned where bills are concerned, where people have been waiting for something here that's been collected or something like that secretly. Okay. Um, actually, in the same section, what was the letter that was with it? There, there wasn't a definition, but I noticed underneath the section that um, there was a word out of the vibration. There was a word about holding their tongue or not speaking. And then here comes a high priestess out here because that vibration is here. There's been secrets and not talking and deception and mint events and knowledge. Under, there is understanding for some of you all by way of your intuition about collections and stuff like that. We have the temperance card. Now, these two cards came out in a reading yesterday that I did. Right next to each other in the same spot. Pisces and Sagittarius. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to get personal there. I can't stand a secret keeper somebody who's a lying sack of crap just saying and if you're a Pisces and you're in the upright I'm not talking to you we've got um, reconciliation or not there's the emperor could have a moon in Aries and a sun in Pisces and be collecting people's money secretly just saying. Acting like they're the boss or they're married to somebody who's got an airy son. Think that they're a fucking boss? Don't think so. Just saying. Might have your keys secretly to your house. I guess that's permissible. Or is that breaking the rules? 
I'm pointing something out here. Actually, the, the divine is pointing something out here. Little girl with the mental problem. Who's a thief and a liar and greedy. You, you owe me, little miss. You owe me. That's right. You owe me a great big fat pentacle for all your thievery. That is the truth. Oh yeah, you Leos out there as well. Oh, let's not forget you um, moon and Libras. There's more water energies coming out here. Yes, I am being sarcastic. I'm sick and tired of it being okay for some people to do things in secret and take advantage of other people. But by God, if somebody else was to rise up and physically go do something about this, in the physical, this little bitty here would be on the phone and be with lying little fingertips on her phone and be all crazy and mental because of the... Uh, freaking personality thing that she's got going on like it's stated in the 72 hour readings you know and can, can uh, you know I guess they can do what they want but when somebody calls them out my god we can't go to jail oh my god we can't let anybody know what we've been collecting things in secret you already fucking known it's already fucking known you bastards go to fucking hell Every one of you lying sack of murdering shits. May you reap what you sow and you will. You will. You're already seared. Let the good police officers come up and chop your head off for the way you do things and think. Take you to a fucking mental ward. You have no business... Let the leadership stand up, please. You have no business raising children, little missy. You have no business being sneaky. Okay? You have no business. Look at all these kings and queens coming out here. A group of people that's doing this stupidness, for one thing. For one thing. Where is the love? Is it manipulation or is it love? Hmm? Hubby? Shalom.